Okay, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 18.3 of our Crash Course RPG LE. So this is the continuation of our project. So let's do the stuff. So last time we had done few things, right? But I found few bugs. Okay, let's first correct that. First of all, in the plain screen or the first screen, if you press F5, I get input command be blank. This is because we have not coded for F5 session. And also we are, uh, okay, we need to clear this error message. So the next thing is if we go to admin login, Okay, now there is nothing here. Again, I am pressing uh, F5. It says user ID or password cannot be blank because we didn't code for F5. But the thing is, if we come back, right? And again, if we go one, the error message is still available because we are not clearing it uh, when, it, when we come to the next time. So let's take these things first. So I'm going in. So here, uh, okay, first of all, let's code for the F5 on the first screen. So this is the first screen. Okay, and then uh, we're clearing it and we are going to admin uh, login subroutine. So uh, in login, right, we are just checking the options. But if the F5 is pressed, we don't need to know, we don't even come to this particular routine. So what we can do here, uh, what we can do here. Okay, so in the whole thing, I can put, okay, here I can put, while calling the subroutine. Okay, so I'll put something like, if uh, star i n zero five equal to star on say if f five is pressed okay uh, then we need to go out else we need to execute this so the end if will come here okay so let's move things a bit more So the, if the FI is pressed, we just need to clear it, right? So I can say clear uh, EMS G01 and also clear, what is that? INPOPT. Okay, so then it will, uh, the, the, after the end, if it will go back again, it will show you the, this thing. And this clear message can be moved to uh, this guy because we want to cl clear message uh, and then we need to go to the subroutine actually, okay? Uh, yeah, so this will be good. This will take care of the first issue. The second issue is actually, uh, we, okay, the second issue is, okay, we are, we are showing if we pressed one, we come down, we display it, and then based on the response, we do this stuff. But again, if you come back, we are just displaying the screen, but the error message still also will be displayed. So what we can do in this line, I can say clear e message zero one, I think, correct? The first screen, so one. Yeah, let's check that one. I forgot. Work member PDM. So here we say e msg zero one for screen to FMT zero two for screen three FMT zero three. So then should be zero two. Should be zero two. Okay. So this should solve our issue. Let's check that out. Okay. So if I press enter, we get error message. If I press F5, it clears out. That's good. If you go to admin login. Uh, if you press enter, we get error message. If I come back and then again come to admin routine now the error message is not there good and if you type something and then press f5 it get cleared but also it's showing the error message but we should not want this error message so what should we do what should we do okay so that we should take care of now okay if you press f5 we don't need to go down for the remaining uh, process so like how we have done here right if you press f5 we just clear it and then go back so like that we should do for uh, this also so if so in, in this exfmt if they press f5 then we should just clear and then go back uh, if not then we should go for this if else and then other stuffs okay so which means here uh, what we can do this whole stuff is the right we can just cut it move it here because here i'm going to wrap this whole thing with the if condition if star in 0 5 equal to star on then I'll do something else. This has to happen. So here I'll say end. Okay. And what we'll do if FA is pressed, we'll just uh, clear the EMSG zero two. That's it. F10 file in. 
all so we i choose option one press enter go back come again no error message if i type something press f5 it's cleared there is nothing else shown good so now what we are going to do one two okay one 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 pass so it's what we have done so it gives us valid details but what we are going to do we are going to validate this with the physical file and then check for it okay so what we can do we have this users pf already created okay this is a column name but there is no value here so i'm going to compile this okay so updta users uh what i'm going to do is actually one 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 okay so and password is as of now the password uh, role is admin okay so this is important because we will check whether uh if by choosing admin only we should allow the admins to go in okay we should not allow the students to go in so that for that only this role is there okay fine so f3 yes so now we have one records inquiry users okay so uh first we will test for a positive scenario like uh, we'll get this user id and then this password then go in and then we'll have another record for a student and if a student is trying to enter as a admin then we should throw an error, error message so we'll code that also so first time we're gonna input the sorry include the file so users right us ers okay it's going to be if e disk but we should also have a key we're gonna deal with the key with the user id okay so okay so as of now there is no comments here so very sorry i'll just add the comments later on because adding comments is very important when you're doing the coding okay so i'm just going coding this for as of now for a temporary or what for fun okay so what we are going to do so currently how we are validating it so if we go to admin subroutine okay here is the admin subroutine and we are checking hard coded value now in this case right if this is error basically okay if it is zero or blank then we'll show that error if not then we are validating it here but here we want to validate from the pf so here what i'm going to do the else condition i'm just going to do a chain okay i'm going i'm going to do a chain with user id uh, onto the file users okay if you get the record that record could be either admin record or a student record okay so what i'm going to say if percentage found of users okay if it is found and if so there are two scenarios either that can, they, the user will be available or might not be available so there will be else condition here so if that user is not available then in the else condition i'm going to say emsg02 equal to uh, user id not valid okay uh, if it is found then i need to check if the role okay equal to admin because i should allow only the admin uh, to log in okay this variable role is should come from the pf so run query users uh, okay i didn't so okay or member pdm i think it's u role uh yeah u role okay so the column name is u role so this should be something like this okay if the role is admin then we as of now i'm say emsg02 equal to valid login okay if it is not if the role is not uh, admin then emsg02 equal to uh, we will say something like um, <clears throat> you are not admin so here there are one more thing we need to check okay we are checking for the existence but we should check for the password validity also right so if you found right and we, we found if the role is admin and also we should check and okay role is admin and you password equal to password okay this you password is coming from the pf okay let's check that one also work member pdm uh yeah it's upwd okay this upwd is equivalent to this the pwd which is coming from the screen then we say lo value login if suppose it's not okay here that is a catch 
okay so if there is the password is wrong or it is not admin we say we are not admin okay uh, but there could be a situation where that is that's actually an admin uh, but the password is wrong okay so okay we'll we'll see that later okay maybe we should have another ifls here okay uh, okay maybe we can have it okay uh, if we'll split, split this into two if the role is admin then if u pwd equal to pwd okay then valid login okay okay if not password is wrong basically correct okay now let's review this so if they enter the valid user id and password which means the user id is not zero and then password is not blank then we will come to else condition and we'll check with the user id uh, which is coming from the uh, display screen to the user's file and then if you found that record we'll come in we'll check if it is admin okay if it is admin then we'll check for the password if it is a password is correct then we'll say valid login if the password is wrong then the else it, it will go to this else condition if it is not at all admin it will go to this else condition if we don't even find the user it will go to this else condition okay so now everything is here now we don't we do not want this at all so d d d d, d. okay so now let's see if this works uh 14 14 let's compile cool so i'm go going in so i'm going admin login okay i'm saying one 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 so the password i'm giving as pass this is my old password okay it says password wrong so one 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 it says effective password then also it is password wrong so here is the catch we need to find why okay so better we go to debug mode so 14 okay it's getting interesting oh. okay debug so first we come to the first screen press one then we just go to this and since it's a one will come down and show the screen i'm giving the user id and then password as correct password enter we come down uh, we are going to the subroutine we are checking if it is a not a blanks or zero then we come down and here if i check for this we got the value okay fine f5 f5 so we go down we check if it is a role admin yes is admin okay and then we are checking for the password here so this is password this is also password ah okay capital letter okay then it goes else condition so we should change the password case here actually okay um or i should type in the capital password here okay so one 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 capital password then also it's wrong so now let's check for this wow Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. We're coming in. So we, we are taking the value, it is also password okay what is the difference here oh, oh, oh password is oh small letter okay here what we are seeing is actually if we type the password in small letter or capital letter it is coming down as cap letter only but here uh u password is actually our pf variable so pf is small letter so that is a problem so what i'm going to do is here actually um i have two approaches one either i can just capitalize all the password okay and then try or i should make sure i get a proper letter here so i think there is a there is a we go to 17 okay we are using the screen to fmt and we are using this password as an input field right okay so there should be one property uh keying option 
upper case lower case uh, lower case entry allowed okay so this guy we should say yes okay because our pf is lower case so f12 f3 okay so let's compile this now let's compile this also now call one okay, one 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 so now let's see i am switching to lower case okay uh yeah password work so valid login okay so if i say anything which is not there then it will say usually a password cannot be blank why it should say we'll check on this you should say user not found okay let's check that why it says like that uh mm -hmm. okay call okay so let's find this issue Okay, what is the problem? So we go down. I give this thing and then press enter. Go down. Okay, what is the problem here? Oh, okay. Uh, Okay, it's correct only because we are handling both user ID password in the first if condition itself. So if the password is not available, then obviously um, it will say it's okay. Our validation is confusing ourselves. Okay. Anyway, so it's working fine only. So if I give something to password, it says password can be blank. Okay. So if I give something with some password, it says user is not valid because the user ID I entered is not at all available. So if I give uh, available user ID, but with some password then it says password wrong so all things are working fine finally we'll check for the final validation which is um uh, fa use sorry updta users i'm going to add another thing two 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 okay uh okay and in, insert f9 for insert okay two 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 uh it is what maybe uh uh password is again password Role is st u t n t two dot. Okay, enter f three. Enter. Now I have two records. One is student record. One is admin record. So if I try to log in with the student record, I should get error. Okay. Let's go here and then call admin login. So I'm going to two 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 two, and then I give a password. It says you are not admin. So it's working fine. So I think it took. Uh, long time so sorry for that uh, so we'll end the video at this point time time okay so we'll use the same uh, users physical file for validating the student login in our next video okay so i hope this helps and then uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching